All right, now a lot of you guys have been asking me about the favorite application grid here at the bottom. I've set more than five or six applications here at the bottom, which will remain constant when we go to the other pages as well. And uh, you wanted to know how we can increase the number of applications here at the bottom. Now I did make a video about this long ago on the channel, but at that point in time, I had very few subscribers. And now the community has grown and a lot of new Samsung Galaxy phone users have joined the Apex community. So you guys have been asking me about how do we do this so in this video i will quickly share this with you guys now to increase the application count here all you need is a good lock application called home up module that's a brilliant app which enables us to customize the home screen and recent applications etc let's go ahead and open good lock application let me show you where exactly this is at the bottom we've got makeup section here we have got home up module now let me just tap on this now this is where we can customize the home screen the folders we can back up and restore the layout of our home screen we can uh, customize the share manager and then we've got task changer option as well. Now, uh, all we need to do is just tap on this home screen and here you can increase the home screen grid, application screen grid and favorite max count. Now using this favorite max count option, you will be able to increase the number of application at the bottom of the screen. Now, as you can see, I have set eight. Uh, if you want nine, the maximum count can go up to nine. And if you set it to nine, the application icons may look very tiny. So uh, you can set it to eight or seven so that we have got the access to all the favorite applications right here at the bottom. Now let me just keep it to eight here and I'll apply. This is it. You get to see eight applications here. Of course, you will have to add the applications. You will instantly not see all the application after you change the count. You will have to customize it. You have to add the application. As you can see, I'll just press and hold on the app and add it to the uh, this particular grid here. And uh, we are seeing eight application right here. And this will remain constant here you will be able to access all your favorite application at one place. Now, apart from doing this, we have a lot of other customization options as well. Uh, on the home screen and the app tray, uh, you can set maximum of about five by six grid by default. Uh, and using this, you will be able to increase it to uh, seven by seven. And you can also do the same for the application screen grid. Six, seven by seven is the option that we have got. I usually set it to five by seven, depending on your requirement, you can do that. And if you want to enable loop pages, you will be able to loop the pages here. As you can see, I go to the fifth page. I can go to the first page again. It loops uh, all the way to the first page from the last page. You can enable that option as well. And then we have got finder access here. Open the finder by swiping down anywhere on the home and application screen. When you tap on this, you get two options, home screen and application screen. If I tap on app screen, Let's see what happens. I will go to the app screen. And when I swipe down, you see we have got the finder access right here with the keyboard popping up. Let me do that again. We're in the app tray. We do have search option here. We'll have to tap on the search option to get the keyboard. Or if you have enabled this option, you can just swipe anywhere on this app tray to directly jump into the keyboard to search the application. That's another option we have got. And if you set it to the home screen, you will be able to do that on the home screen itself. You see, I just swipe here and it will directly take me to the app tray, uh, the search bar on the app tray. Now, of course, you know, you will lose the option to swipe down anywhere on the home screen to open the quick panel. That will go away, so uh, choose your options wisely. Now, I don't set this up, I keep them off. I will deselect this. And then we have got background blur control. I will enable this and go here. Using the slider, we will be increase or decrease the background blur here. If I bring it down to zero, you see on the app tray, you'll be able to see the uh, wallpaper on the home screen. And if I increase the blur, this entire background will blur here. Again, depending on your needs, you can do this. Then we've got this option at the bottom, removes most of the blur. If you enable this, uh, the entire blur here on the background on the app tray will just vanish. So that is what is gonna happen if you enable this toggle. I will disable this. I'm not very sure why this option is here. We already have the slider to increase or decrease the blur to even to zero but we do have this option here. Now let me just go back. Then we have got this option background color control. Before enabling this, you need to uh, set the background blur to zero because you will not be able to see the colors in the background if you set it to 100 because it is already blurred. Now I've set it to zero. Now I will just go to background color control option. Now here, I can increase or decrease the background color transparency. Let me enable this. Now it is at zero. As you can see, you will be able to see all the colors in the background. Now, if I increase it to maybe 50%, only 50% of the colors you, you'll be able to see in the background. And if I increase it to uh, 100%, the entire background will look black or dark. So no colors are shown from the wallpaper. 
And that's another customization option we have got. Now, likewise, we have got uh, some more customization options here. If you want me to do a detailed video, drop a comment and let me know. Now, good luck may not be available in all the regions. Uh, it may be available in some of the countries, but it is expected uh, to arrive in all the countries with One UI 7. I'm not 100% sure about this, but in the recent event, Samsung did discuss about good luck for uh, customizing the Galaxy phones. And uh, they also tested good luck on, uh, on the Play Store uh, recently and they took it down. So maybe Maybe Samsung will be providing good luck in all the countries. If that happens, that would be just amazing. You'll get to play around with your Galaxy phones, customization options, and you can do a lot of personalization using good luck applications. Now, if you want any detailed video about good luck app, do let me know in the comment section. And if you want me to discuss about rest of the options here, drop a comment and let me know. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Go ahead, uh, download the wallpaper. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about uh, the Galaxy Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, any Android phones, and a lot of things related to technology. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.